Hey everybody, it's Professor Parrish, and we are on week five of English 122. Can you believe it? We are nearly a fourth of the way done with the class. Crazy talk. So, <laughs> um, this week, there's not going to be a lot of reading. They're just mainly going to be getting stuff into the Dropbox. So I'm not going to waste any time. We are going to go right to the course content and see what we're doing for this week. So I don't know if I've mentioned this in previous videos. I feel like I mentioned it back in week one, but this little box here is deceiving because it only shows you two assignments. However, if I scroll down to week five, there are three assignments here. So do not rely on this little box. Don't rely on it. Keep scrolling down till you get to week five and that will show you everything that's due. I know I mentioned that at the beginning of the class, but I like to remind students because I feel like sometimes students forget an assignment because they, they just look at that box and they're like, oh, I've got two things due, I'm good. And then they miss out on something. So what is due this week? We don't have any new reading yet. So there's that. <laughs> um, there isn't going to be a slideshow that I'm going over this week. So there's no more terminology to discuss with our prose section. I can't believe we're done with prose. It's bittersweet. Um, however, there are three assignments that are due. The first assignment that I'm going to point out is our week five discussion forum. And I'm going to open it separately because it is due first. Your posts in week five are due by Friday. Your responses are due by Sunday. So let's check out week five discussion forum. Um, there are two videos here. They're both fairly short. They're about five minutes long each. Um, they're both examining um, PBS's series called It's Lit. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> get it? <laughs> um, but Lindsay Ellis, she does a little thing about um, the evolution of science fiction and an ode to the romance novel. Two extremely popular genres of fiction that she kind of explores the history of in these two videos. So after you watch the two videos, what I would like for you to do is to answer these three questions. One, um, which of the genres would you most likely read? Would you more, most likely read science fiction or romance? Um, why? <laughs> and if neither, what genre would you prefer instead? So that's question one. Question two is what makes genres of literature different for viewers and why is that important? Why do we need genres? And then finally, what will you take away from our discussion of prose as we move into poetry? Because something that I'll, spoiler alert, <laughs> um, you're going to find a lot of the terminology that we talk about with prose is going to apply itself to poetry when we start on that next week. So you're going to start to see a little bit of overlap and um, I think that's interesting. So just gear up for that <laughs> because that's going to be what we're going to talk about um, come next week. But though that is our discussion forum. Your posts are due by Friday. Responses to at least two of your peers are due by Sunday. So with that being said, that leaves us with two other assignments to talk about. Um, one is the final draft of paper one. This is just a Dropbox assignment like what we've done with our reading responses and other Dropbox um, assignments in the class. You're just depositing your paper for me to review. Um, the good news is, is that you will get a chance to revise this paper. So let me make this very, very clear. It is crucial that you turn in your draft by Sunday night at 11.55 because you will get a chance to revise this paper if you submit it on time. So it's kind of an all or nothing sort of scenario. You either turn the paper draft in on time and if it's not perfect, you'll get a chance to revise or if you don't turn anything in, you just don't get a grade and it's a big zero. So don't let that happen to you. <laughs> um, I've had a lot of students that grades, they have plummeted because this is a hundred point paper. It's very important that you turn it in. So if by Sunday afternoon, you're not feeling good about it and you're like, oh, this paper sucks, I don't like it, turn it in anyway, because at least you'll get a grade and you'll get a chance to revise it. What I do with revision is that I will grade your paper I will send it back to you with suggestions to revise and you'll have two to three weeks to revise it um, to make your grade higher. And you can keep revising that paper as many times as you want up in that two to three week period. Um, I've had some students that are perfectionists and they will like revise that sucker until it's 100% <laughs> and then I've had some that maybe they got a B, like an 85 on it. They revised it once, it came up to a 92 and they were like, cool, got an A, I'm good. So. It's totally optional. 
You don't have to revise if you don't want to, but that option will be there for you if you want it for papers one, two, and three. So um, please note here too that only rich text format, RTFs, Word documents, or PDF files are accepted. Unfortunately, if you turn in a PDF, I can't edit it, but I can give you suggestions to revise. But if you turn in a rich text or a Word document, I can revise that paper and get it back to you. Um, any other formats I will not accept for credit. You'll need to make sure it's a Word document, a PDF, or a rich text format file. So if you have a MacBook or Google Docs, make sure that you download those and save them onto your computer as Word documents. And I've used Pages before and I've used Google Docs, so I know you can do it. <laughs> I know the software will let you save it as a Word document, so just make sure that you do that. But that's paper one, and I'm really excited to see. We've spent a little bit more time than usual on these papers, so I'm really excited to see what you all come up with. And then the final assignment is the fiction exam. So this is our first exam online, and I want to show you exactly how it works. So this is due by Sunday as well. Um, when you click on the exam, you'll notice that there's a little blue box that says start the exam. Um, there is no time limit. You can take as long as you want on it. Um, it can only be taken one time and it's out of 25 points. I'll be honest with you all, I was not a test taker in college. I would much rather write a paper any day than take a test. So these exams <laughs> are, are very much loose of the word. So if I click this, you're going to notice it's going to open up. There's only 13 questions. It's pretty straightforward. Um, there are some multiple choice. There's some, let me scroll down here, there's multiple choice. There's some true and false, and there's some matching and some short answer. And that's it. That's all you got. So um, two things I want to note about this exam. One, it's not timed. Um, and the other thing is that you can save your exam. So if you start this test, you get a phone call, and you have to run over to your parents' house, or you've got to run over to your friend's house, and you can't finish it right now, what you can do is click this Save Progress button and you'll note it'll timestamp it so it'll say okay I've saved it at 8 13 p.m. then you can click the exit this exam and what it's going to do is your page is going to give you now two options you can either resume it when you get back or you can turn it in like it is don't turn it in like it is it'll be a zero so instead click the light blue box that says resume and it's going to bring you back to the test now once you're back in the test, if you have to leave again, you'll have to resave it over again, okay? You'll have to keep saving it each time you go back into the test. But you can do this as many times as you need to. I've had some students just whittle away at this test like over a period of five days, but it's only 13 questions and I think it's not going to take you too long to do. But life happens, so if you have to get out of the test, you can. Now, once you get to the very bottom of the test, you're going to see this Submit This Exam button in blue. You have to click that button to turn the test in. Once you submit it, then it's over. You don't get to go back and change any answers or redo anything. Once you submit the exam, it is considered turned in, and you don't get to retake it. Then it'll be graded. So just keep that in mind. But as long as you save and click the Exit button, you can always come back to it later. So those are the assignments this week. You've got your paper one, your fiction exam, and the discussion forum. And that is it for this week. And we will be done with prose. And then next week, <laughs> we get to start poetry. And I'm really excited because um, most students come into this class not liking poetry. And my goal is always not to make you like it. I can't make you like a genre, um, but to give you an appreciation of the genre and why it's frustrating and why it's great and it's going to be uh, for those of you that like poetry hopefully you'll have fun with this uh, unit that's coming up but for those of you that don't like poetry I'm excited because usually students leave this class being like okay I get it <laughs> I don't care for poetry but I get it so that's my goal so I hope you all have a wonderful week if you have any questions about the Dropbox, about the paper, about revising, anything at all about this week. So far you all have been doing great. Um, just let me know. Please feel free to email me. But otherwise, I hope you all have a great week. Stay safe. And I'll talk to you all again next week when we start poetry. 
Bye.